Good day, how are you going? Um, what do you call it? Sponsors. I don't normally do sponsors. I did a dumb thing a few years ago because Penrod offered me, you know, they just said, just do a bit of product placement. I thought, can't go wrong with that. That's a good idea. But then I thought, nah, I can't be bothered. So I could have got some Penrod products, which I'm bleeding about because I go through well. Dogs barking. Anyway, we always get, people do this sort of stuff, always get people wanting to join up with you and sell stuff on your channel. And you get these guys that go, oh, got these products, you know, and they'll be just useless, benign things, bits and pieces. Actually, interestingly, one was a laptop. And I thought, no, because, you know, you know, the problem is, well, the, the, the thing is, I don't like being governed by any rules because, look, I can't swear and I can't make stupid noises and this sort of stuff, which I don't tend to do anyway, but swearing I do. And I won't do it on the channel because, one, kids watch it from the school and I don't want marks next to my name or any of that stuff and I don't talk politics, I don't do any of that stuff. It's just about the projects we're doing at the moment, which is cars at the moment, but it was carports, motorbikes, all sorts of stuff. And so you get these guys that, oh, you know, do you want this totally benign, useless product if we can hook up to your channel? And I'm always like, no. I actually ignore the emails. I get them through my Google email and I ignore them. So, one mob reached out, but she said, battery charges, and I thought, oh, okay. So, if you see an endorsement for a battery charger at the start of the next video, that's the reason why. I needed a battery charger, <laughs> and I thought, well, I can certainly endorse it if it's any good. Um, if it's rubbish, I'll say it's rubbish, but if, you know, it's about endorsing the product because it's a good product, and I've got no bones with it if I get a free battery charger out of it. Anyway, I forgot all about it. This is last year in September, I think. And I forgot all about it. Anyway, battery charger rocked up. A nice little smart one that does all different batteries. And the Commodore has a calcium battery. And the rest of the cars are lead acid and maintenance free and all this stuff. So I thought, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I had no idea where it came from. So I'm sort of waiting for emails to rock up about this thing. Anyway, she sent me an email last night. Yeah, night before last. Um, did you get the battery charger? I was like, oh, it was you. Oh. And I'd forgotten. So... Anyway, if you start seeing crap about battery chargers in the next video, that's probably the reason why. I just took that XD guard down. I'll show you what I've been doing around here, but it's just useless. I've got to, I've got to fix it all up and get it organised so I know, I, uh, I know what I'm doing. Because at the moment, I'm clueless. I've got no idea where anything is. Oh, this is crazy. I, <laughs> I can't get anything done because I can't find anything. We've got. I, I was missing tool boards. Well, there were tool boards here across the back of the garage. And I didn't understand, or I didn't at least realise, how much I used them. So, the other day, I'm trying to take a dash out of that XR8, and it took me about half an hour to find a Phillips head. It's ridiculous. So, I've been using old bits of the upside down, but it doesn't matter. It's the best cut. I could get old bits of that panelling. It's just chipboard. Um, and I'll give it a paint, and, you know hang make a tool board here or something i mean it's ridiculous because you know you go over here and say oh i think it's over here and it's like crap city and <laughs> you know even my light and i use that the whole time i just cannot find anything old bits of um old screws and stuff that i was using to hang tools off spanners and that sort of thing that's ludicrous so i've got to do that and i might even continue that xd guard probably doesn't need to be there there was a lot of stuff um, Wolseley pistons and grills and stuff hanging up, which I don't need up there. Um, there was a, I don't even know where it is, that thing for leads and stuff. So I stick that back. I kind of marked with the orange tape where the center line of the bit of wood behind it is. So, <laughs> kind of dumb, but you know, I can't, I can't really do much about it. It's ridiculous. Just got to get it done. Oh, and the other thing, if you want to hear something else, is that in focus? Is that in focus? Yes, it's getting into focus. The other thing is, come on, focus, you son of a... The other thing is, I can't take the heads off this at the moment because I've done my back. <laughs> um, lifting up that C4 when Nathan brought it around. So it's feeling a bit better now, but they're not going to be lightweight. Those semi-hemi heads or poly heads, they're actually quite substantial if you look at the size of them. All cast iron, of course. Um, so yeah, I've got to kind of 
I've just got to clean all this up. I've got Jason Hill stuff here too, and I've got to get that in. So I've got to also, here's another thing, I've got to, um, my engine stand, running stand is in there. I've got to get that fence thing done. I went to work and the guy hasn't done it yet. Yeah, it kind of annoys me. I could have done it myself, but we don't have the equipment in the classroom. So that's sort of sitting inward and the front end's still on the car. So that's all got to come off. The engine stand's got to come in because I've got three cleavers to play with. I think I've got three. That 302 that came in, yes, the XA 351 has to be built and Jason Hills has to be built as well. So I need room, clean room as well. So, hmm. I've got to get back to work. I'm just talking too much and it's ridiculous. Anyway, see you around.